today we were really inspired to share with you a lovely healing of the heart process because we'd watched Captain Corelli's Mandolin again <laughs> and it's a really special film. Um, it's one starring Nicolas Cage and Penelope Cruz and it was actually set on the island of Kefalonia, Greece, which was where we do our retreat. But for those of you who've not heard about the film or seen it, Perhaps I can pass over to Helen to just uh, describe it to you for a moment. The reason we're talking about the film, because it connects very much with healing the heart, because the film is all about how the Nazis came and invaded Kefalonia and the Italian army were there and there was a big conflict and it caused a lot of pain and the war caused Kefalonians a lot of pain and they lost many loved ones but this story is all about a love story as well which uplifted the situation and many people said it made them feel better because I think it addressed their pain but also brought the love in and that's what we're here to share with you today one of the things we work on on the retreat is to help people to heal their hearts to free themselves from any pain that they're carrying So, and it's not until we really connect in that we notice that we still have pain from the past. Mm. We can relate to that. (laughs) (laughs) We're just doing a simple version. The the full process is what we do on the retreat, but there's just so that we've got something to give to you today, just a short version um, to help introduce you to this process. So Mm. just sit comfortably and then we will begin. So it's also about not just pain in your heart, but trauma as well. So we'll be helping you to heal that. Any loss, any grief, anything like that, that you know you're holding on. Mm, It could be past relationships, rejection. You may still be burning the candle for that person and haven't really moved on. Might be childhood traumas, there might yeah. be a loss of anything. It doesn't have to be a person, it could be a thing, a place, a job, an experience, whatever it is to you that's important to you. So get your torch out <laughs> and have a little look just <laughs> quietly to yourself and just think about is there anything painful that you're carrying right now? And if there is, and there probably will be. <laughs> Just focus on it for a minute and feel it Mm. and see what colour is it? What colour is that feeling? What we love about this process is is that by looking at it as if you're observing, you're not having to dive into the pain of it, you're not having to relive it. And this is why we are asking you to almost be aware of it in your body then we're going to lift it out of your body so you can observe it. So as Helen says, what, what colour is it? Has it got a shape to it, texture, a density? What does it mean to you as you look at it and acknowledge that was a pain, a trauma, a grief, whatever that is for you? Mm, where did it come from? Yeah. And allow it, as you are lifting it out of yourself to look at, imagine, use your imagination, imagine visualize that it's coming out of all of the cells of your body wherever you felt it was being stored and we know we bury it deep especially things that we don't want to face or relive again this is an opportunity to release it from your whole body to see what it looks like how does it feel just observe who gave it to you who caused it for you that's right how did it form validate that honor yourself Feel the feeling. Let it come up. And as it comes up, just start filling it with the love that you have. Feel the love. Transmute the energy to love. You can do this just by feeling love. Think about a person that you love dearly, members of your family maybe, something you love doing. I just start to notice how it transmutes and add light to it. Love is the strongest energy in existence and it's light. So imagine, use your visualisation, your imagination to add loving light to this, whatever it is 
that you're holding in front of you and see see how it is transmuting. It's starting to turn into light and love. It's getting brighter and lighter. And remember, if it's if you're struggling a little bit with this, or it's a bit sticky, remember the past doesn't exist anymore. Mm. It's no good to hold on to anything. It's just going to get in the way of your life. It's a really important thing, Helen. So add that energy to the transmutation. It is time to let it go. It's time to be free. So that you won't attract any of that anymore. Because mm. who wants to carry that around the whole of their lives? Nobody. It's no <laughs> we good hope going. you don't. <laughs> you don't want to take it into a next relationship, you know, carry your pain from the past yeah. relationship. Yeah. So it's time to see it transmuted. And just imagine the colour it's changing into right now. Can you use the visuals here. See all the sparks and the lightness. See that your pain, trauma, whatever it is, it's turning lighter and lighter and it's turning into light. Sparks of divine love and light. Mm. And then use that love and light. Start to fill up the whole of your body. Wherever you pull that from, fill that up first love and light and then start to spread it to every cell of your body you're recharging every cell of your body with all that loving divine light see the love in your heart filling up all of those cells Mm. filling your whole being with love love energy see it emanating from you you're here to share your love with the world to inspire others and to attract the right love in your life. Mm. Others will reflect it back to you. It's beautiful. Mm. So start to shine with your brightness, shine with your divine loving light that is you in the whole of your body, the whole of your energy field and out to the world. See your heart free with this feeling. Mm. So that's just a little taster of a very special process that we do on the retreat. So please check out on our webpage if you want any more information about retreat in Kefalonia. Kefalonians love the fact that there are so many tourists have come from Captain Corelli's Mandolin film. And we really respect them for that film and the way that they are so kind and loving. The people that we meet in Kefalonia, they warm our hearts. Yeah. We hope one day that you get to experience that also. I remember if you want to come on the retreat, it's easy work. It's not painful. Yeah. And it's good, yeah. good work. So it all gets just better and better. Yeah. better and better we don't and do fun. we don't do hard painful um processes at all but we respect where you're at and we make everything caring and nurturing and as light and as easy as it can be all right so we're going to leave that with you for today and we wish you well with whatever you're doing have a lovely heartfelt loving day yeah thank you thank thanks you. for joining us bye bye